the fortune Hi friends, today I'm here to do another get ready video with me and this one's going to be more of like a bohemian summer kind of style so I'm going to be showing you guys this hairstyle and another hairstyle that I actually like better than this one but they're both kind of side swept bohemian styles. This makeup look and then the outfit that I'm currently wearing. Before I get into the video I want to really quickly just talk about an app called Snuts that I have discovered that helped me uh, kind of pick out my outfit today and find my favorite products that I've been using lately. Basically this app is kind of similar to Instagram where you just post photos but it's a lot more organized so you create shelves where you keep different sections of your life is kind of the best way I can describe it. So I have one with like my summer dresses, summer tops, places that I've been lately just to kind of document what I've been doing, um, my go-to makeup products, and also outfits of the day, which is my favorite section of it. Especially if you have a lot of clothes in your closet, you can go and take a picture of every article of clothing you have, and you can scroll through them and kind of see like what you have, because I know sometimes I forget that some of the pieces that I have are in there, I'll just like completely forget to wear them. But yeah, it's such a cool app, and like I said, it helped me create my outfit that I'm wearing today. So if you want to follow me, I'll have my username right here. I'm pretty sure it's just, this is Smiling Shell. I'll also have a link where you can download it down below, and I definitely suggest trying it out because it's just another cool social media app that I've been digging lately. If you happen to stumble across this video and you're not subscribed, you should definitely do that right now. I upload every Sunday and Thursday, and I've been kind of on a roll with my summer videos, so you should definitely enjoy my little thing. Family. And yeah, with all that said, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So to start off the makeup, I am using my Laura Geller Hydrating Face Primer just so my makeup stays on all day. And then I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation with a Beauty Blender sponge to give the foundation a more natural look. I am then going in with my Anastasia brow pencil and filling in my brows a little bit to define them. Then I'm priming my eyelids with my Lorac eye primer to ensure that my eyeshadow stays on. And I'm also using my Clinique Chubby Stick in Bounceful Beige as a shimmery base. We're using LT Bronze from my Lorac Pro Palette in the inner half of my eyelids. And then I'm going in with the shade called At Dusk by Clinique and I'm going in with this in my outer half of my eyelid. And then in the crease, we're just putting taupe all over to give it kind of a softer look. In the very outer corner, I am using olive in my martini, which is a nice kind of olive shade by Clinique. And then as a highlight, I am using cream for my Lorac Pro Palette. I am then just smudging that olive shade on my lower lash line and doing a thin line of eyeliner with this L'Oreal Carbon Black eyeliner. And finishing off with some mascara, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mango one. And then I'm going in with my concealer. I'm using, again, my favorite Age Rewind concealer. It rocks. This is the brightener and it really brightens up my face. And I'm setting all of the face makeup with a powder. This is the Revlon Colorstay one. As a contour shade, I am using my BH Cosmetics palette and taking this bronzy shade. And then I'm using a soft pink shade of blush from MAC and finishing off with my lipstick, which is Airy Fairy from Rimmel. So for these hair looks, I want to have some nice natural waves, so I'm just wrapping my hair around a one inch barrel very loosely to my hair to give it some wave and body. And then I'm going in with some hairspray and kind of crunching it to give it more of a natural texturized look. For the first look, I'm just tossing my hair over my shoulder and I'm taking kind of a half up half down style from each end of my ear and I'm tying this up. And then basically you just split it in half and then you push the hair out and over it. I don't know what this is called, it might be a pull through, but I'm just grabbing some more hair and I keep doing this down the piece of hair until I've done it three times. It's really, really easy. Then we are doing a five strand braid after that. So basically you just section your hair in five strands and you take one piece from the other side and put it over and then under another piece and then you go on the other side and do the same thing. It's very difficult honestly and it took me a long time to learn but it looks really cool so I'll have an in-depth tutorial down below that I actually learned from if you want to check it out. 
but then I'm just securing the hair and loosening it up, and that is the first hairstyle. For the next hairstyle, all you do is take a top section of your hair and split it into three pieces and do one start of the braid just like a normal braid and then on your second go, take a hair from the right side and then take a hair from the left side and braid it in. I believe this is a Dutch braid but I think it looks really cool and I just did this to the ends of my hair when I couldn't braid anymore. But once you get past your ear, you can just do a normal braid, you don't have to do the Dutch. And then you just secure it and loosen it up a bunch. It looks a lot better if you loosen it up a lot. Then I just took about a three inch section on the other side of hair and I did a fishtail braid until a few inches past my ear. And then I loosened it up, secured it, and then I pushed it over to the other side. And then like the first hairstyle, I just pushed it through the braid and then I wrapped a piece of hair around the band and I secured it and curled some pieces. And that's it for this hairstyle. Not a word. From your lips, you just took a granted that I want to skinny clean on. So for my outfit, I am wearing this top from Toby that's super bohemian. I love it so much. It's flowy and so summery. And then my bralette is from Urban Outfitters. These are so comfortable. I definitely recommend picking some up. And then my leaf shorts are from Choi's as well as my super cool sunglasses. And then my bag is from Madewell. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my outfit. ready video i really hoped you guys enjoyed watching this i loved making it for you guys it was super fun to just kind of document my getting ready process like always don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it because i love seeing that you guys thumbs up this video and that you liked it it just means a lot to me also go check out my last video i believe it was a q a on just life advice and you can also see if i answered your question that you asked so i will have that somewhere around here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!